real praise. Real miracles. Real love. The glory is here with Honorable Bishop Dr. Margaret Wanjiro. Experience real word. Real praise. Real miracles. Real love. The glory is here with Honorable Bishop Dr. Hallelujah. What a wonderful day, a wonderful time to be alive and to experience the glory of God. Welcome to the glory is here. I'm Bishop Margaret Wanjiro, the presiding bishop of the Jesus is Alive Ministries based in Nairobi, Kenya, East Africa. And our vision is Africa shall be saved. As you partake of this fellowship tonight, as you partake of this word, I can guarantee you God will take you to a new level as God is going to minister to us and reveal his glory to each and every one of us. Now, every session will have to come to each and every one of us in series. So that means we'll do part one, part two, part three. And as we divide them in different series, if you watch today, wherever you're watching from, I know some of you are in Kenya, some of you are in other parts of Africa, others are in Asia, others are in the Eastern countries, and some of you are in the Western countries, all the way in America, all the way in Europe, welcome on board. Everybody is welcome. And as you watch, that time that you're watching, next Tuesday, same time, same day, watch at the same time, and you will now receive part two. Now, let's go. Moses, a man of God that who has a wonderful fellowship with God, Moses knew God. Moses could talk to God one to one, and Moses speaks to God and reasons out with God. Some, something that all of us must learn, to talk to God one to one. Now, one day, I personally, I, Margaret, needed a divine intervention from God. I needed a divine ministry from God. And I prayed the same prayer of Moses. And I tell you, I saw God giving me his visitation. My encouragement today is to all of you that I see on the screen. Yeah, Betty, I see you there. I see Odell. Odell, you are saying, Bishop, pray with me for financial breakthrough. That's okay, Odell. God will come through for you. Betty, God will come through for you. Jane, I see you there. Sarah and Tony, thank you. God bless you. All of you that are with us, all of you that have already logged in, I can see you. I thank God for you, and I know that you're going to enjoy this service and that God is going to come through for you. Now, do me a favor. Share. Invite someone. Let somebody else enjoy these blessings. This message changed my life one day. This message will change your life today. I can see you are still coming in, many, many of you. Yeah, Sally, I see you there. God bless you, Moses. I see you. God bless you. Keep on coming in even as we read, as we go to the book of Exodus chapter 33. And my goodness, yeah, there are some nice mojis there, some uh, thumbs up there, send me some mojis there. And God bless you as we keep on fellowshipping together. Hey, blessed Babake, precious prince. I see you there. God bless you mightily. Kate Walter Mahia, hallelujah. God bless you. Jane, whoo, Houston, all the way from yeah. Dallas, Texas. Welcome on board. I see Shiro Benamwangi. Let's stay on and let's reveal God's glory. Hey, I see you, Kare Strome. Thank you, man of God. Uh, God bless you mightily. Just nice to have you on board. And the Lord bless you tremendously. Let's get this done. Let's reveal the glory of God on this earth. Come on, share with somebody. Get somebody tuned in and let's share God's glory on earth. I see you, Moses Gashugi. Welcome on board. And as you all continue joining me, now you are more than I can keep on mentioning. As everybody keep on just joining in, let's get to the word of God because we must also adhere to time. My producer tells me, Bishop, strictly 30 minutes. And I'm sure I've already now consumed maybe a minute or so. Wow. So before he starts telling me time is gone, let's get to the word of God. And this is Exodus 
chapter 33. Tremendous, tremendous word that changed my life. And we are going to read from verse 12. We are going to read from verse 12. Thank you, Rosina. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. The Lord indeed bless you mightily. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Bible says in verse 12 of Exodus 33, And Moses said unto the Lord, See, thou sayest unto me. Aha, that is now Moses speaking to God, one to one. We too must learn that. Bring up these people, and thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. So Moses is speaking unto the Lord and says, you've given me an assignment to take your people and to bring them on board to the promised land. But now, my father, how am I going to get this done? And Moses continued talking to God and says, now therefore I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way that I may know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight and consider that this nation is thy people. Moses talking one to one with God and say, yes, Lord, I agree with you that yes, I can receive your grace. I have received favor from you. You have told me to take these people to the promised land. But now he said, just consider this nation, these are your people. I mean, these are not just anybody else. I like a message uh, Dr. Evans Karaoke preached last Sunday and said there is a difference between God's people and anybody else. The book of Malachi says there is a clear difference. And Moses is exactly telling God there is a clear difference. These are your people. This is your nation. Now verse 14, the Bible says, and he says, my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. Now let's 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 watch this. Let's let's first of all talk to each other here. So God says to Moses, take my people to the promised land. And Moses says, yes, sir, I'll get the job done. And then Moses hesitates and says, Lord, you know, these are your people. Now, how will I know that truly, truly you are coming with us? And God says, first things first, my grace shall be with you. You know, when we read the Old Testament, we must see the New Testament in the Old Testament. The new covenant must be found in the old covenant. And when you look at those words and that conversation between Moses and God, you see the grace released. Grace is salvation. Grace is coming to God with all your shortcomings, with all your weaknesses, and coming to receive mercy, and coming to be forgiven, and coming to be saved. So what God is literally saying to Moses is that my people have received grace from me. Moses, you have received grace. Go right ahead and take these people to the promised land. I see the 21st Christian, 21st century Christian would have said, hallelujah, God is with me. Yeah, now I am saved. I am going to church and that is enough, full stop. No, no, no. Moses did not say that is enough. Moses wanted more from God. And as I continue ministering to you, as we continue sharing in this powerful word, praying that God will reveal his glory unto your life, I pray that you also send in your prayer request. You can text and you can WhatsApp on 0728 -22 Just WhatsApp or just send an SMS and send in your prayer request. But of course, don't assume I know your number. Make sure you put your name there and we shall get back to you when we finish the program. This is live recording. Don't call, just SMS or just WhatsApp and we're going to engage you in a chat much more later. Brethren, so salvation is not enough. Grace is not enough. Moses says, I receive grace. The Israelites, the people of God, we receive grace, but I want much more. Point number one, salvation, grace. But yes, it's not enough. I want much more. And God says unto Moses, all right, what do you want? And Moses says that your presence go with us. He asked for the presence of the almighty God, a symbol of the Holy Spirit, that God, I'm not going to live an empty life. As a Christian, saved by grace, I need the Spirit of God in me to guide me and to lead me all the days of my life. 
Romans chapter 8 clearly tells us, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. Those are the sons of God. And these are the ones that inherit from God as the Lord leads them day in, day out. Brothers and sisters, I want you to listen to me. Many 21st century Christians would have said, I have salvation, I have the grace, I have the Holy Ghost, I have the presence of God, that's enough, I'm going to stay in church until Jesus comes back. And that is where the problem is. So many people have settled for status quo, so many people have settled to just sit around and hang around without necessarily seeking God into another level. Today in the mighty name of Jesus, I beseech you in Jesus name that you seek God for more. Even if you're a church goer, even if you're a preacher, even if you're one that is saved by grace, even if you're Holy Ghost filled and you speak in tongues like me, seek God for more. Let's get back to the Bible. And as we get back, I acknowledge, yes, Marine Gugi, I see you there. God indeed bless you mightily. I see you, Honorable Mundia Samuel. God bless you mightily. Sarah Witi, God bless you. So nice to have all of you on board, Roda Fazio, all the way from California, USA. We love you, we love you, all of you, Kenyans, Africans, Asians, Americans, Europe, all over the world. We love you, keep on enjoying this message. And so God is continuing with this conversation with Moses. And he says, and Moses says unto the Lord. First of all, we go back to verse 14. God says unto Moses, and he said, my presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. Uh, you know, what Christo was easy. Today's Christians, they hear God will give you rest. Full stop. No more prayers. No more seeking God. No, no, no. Awake. Awake in your spirit. Awake and pursue God for more. Be a God chaser. Moses was a God chaser. The Bible says in verse 15, And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, Carry us not up from hence. Now let's pause there for a moment. <laughs> you know, Moses is not the kind of person that doubts God. Now Moses is like a Margaret Wanjiro. David, I see you. God bless you. Moses is like Margaret Wanjiro. I don't doubt God. But here he says, if thy presence, there is an element of doubt there. Moses want a guarantee that God is going with us. Moses wants a hundred percent guarantee that God is not going to leave him alone in the wilderness. Moses is assuming that if something happens between now and the promised land, <laughs> the truth is, I cannot deal with it unless God is with us. So I need to confirm hundred percent that God is going with us. Lord, if you are not coming with us, we are not going to leave this place. I pray that whatever journey you take in your life, that you will pause for a moment. And it doesn't matter if there is a need, which means there is some doubt. But also that doubt makes you to inquire from God. That doubt makes you to seek God a bit more. You are not doubting in faith. You are simply saying, God, I need a guarantee here that this journey is not going to fail. I need a guarantee here that nothing will go wrong between where we are and where we are going. I feel in my spirit there are people watching me today and you are taking new decisions. You are taking a new direction in life and you are saying, I don't know whether I'm making the right decision. My prayer for you today, number one is that God will give you the wisdom. The wisdom to make the right decision. Number two, that God will give you the courage. Because some of you are going on a route, on a direction that you have never been before. These are waters that you have never stepped in before. And you are fearing to sink. But may I let you know, if the presence of the Lord is with you, as God goes with you, you will never sink. You will get on the other side. I say unto you, those who are making new decisions, those who are seeking God for the next level, I say unto you, begin today to pray that, Lord, may your presence go with me. Let's get back to the Bible. And the Bible says, we are now in verse 16. The Bible says in verse 16, For wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Ha! 
How will it be known? Where is the sign? Where is the demonstration of your power, God, to show that I and your people have found your grace? And then he says, is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the earth. I mean, they've got to be some small gains on the way. They've got, got to be signs and wonders on the way. Unfortunately, some people don't even know how to thank God for the small, small gains that they receive on the way. They don't know how to appreciate God for the things that they achieve on the way. Brothers and sisters, God says, as we go in, go in the journey of destiny, as we go in the, in the journey of our life, they will all gain gains. They will demonstrate God's God. They will, they will demonstrate the proof of God in greater, greater burdens in our lives. And that the first step of the Almighty God ought not, not to be taken in, in vain. Let's continue. The Bible says in, in verse 17, The Lord said unto Moses, I will do these things also. That thou hast spoken, for, for thou found grace, grace in my sight, and I know thee, thee by them. Say what says Moses, Moses, still saying, I lie. Hey, hey, I'm not, I'm not talking for so, for so long, I got, got, I got, I got, I got, I got. Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on log, logging in. Billion, thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep on, bless you, bless Sally, I see you there. Sally, Sally, Akum, bless you. Welcome on. God says unto Moses, 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 I'm, I'm walking journey with you. My great grace is Moses, Moses says, God to God, some demonstration of some, some different in the righteous and the weak to show, to show that God is with us, with us. And then he is God and says, says unto us, my presence go with you and, and you're going to eat to rest, rest. And I tell you, thing, Moses say to the Lord, the Lord, then it's, and it's God known that you are us. And God says, Moses, I know, I know thee by that thy name. There is a song I've, I've, I'm not even sure he sang it, sang it. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees tear, tear that, that falls and hears me, me where I, I call. I, I see you now. He knows one, one day. He, he knows you, you are every he, he sees each other that falls and, and he hears you, you, where you, you call. God will answer our prayers even at night. You, he is to call, call. You as what is right to, to call, to, to read, to send a send a mess. To, to send a request and to, to speak unto the pastor, a son that will, will pick up that and God, and God will, will answer your prayer. Pray. Do, do not hesitate. Near this beautiful city in the sun, Nairobi, county number 47. If you operate anywhere in Kenya, in Nairobi County, welcome on board into our services. Tomorrow is Wednesday, 6 a.m. to 7.30. We've got a prayer meeting, powerful morning glory. Then we move on to the evening, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. It's a deliverance service. I'll be preaching and ministering deliverance. Welcome on board. God knows you by name. Don't be silent, turn to the Lord. Don't keep that disease to yourself. Don't be afraid of the problems and the challenges you're going through. Do not be afraid of anything that is happening to you. God knows you by your name. And I can guarantee you tonight, God is going to minister to you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Actually, right here in the middle of this sermon, I rebuke every powers of darkness. I rebuke every devils that have been hovering around your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I soak every man and every woman that is in this service. I soak you in the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood that speaketh better things about us than that of Abel. God knows you by your name. Your name is awesome. Your name is great before God. Moses, 
God says unto him, fear not, I know you by your name. Lucy, I know you're watching. Yes, I can see you. Uh, Smiley, I know you're watching. Who else? Napashae, I know you're watching. All of you that are watching, Morris Mona, all of you that are with us online, God knows you by your name. So what is this breakthrough that you want tonight? God will give it to you because he knows you, because he identifies with you. Jesus Christ died on the cross. On the cross. Jesus Christ was crucified to pay the price for our healing, for our finances. Very soon, we will be going through the message that I love most, the blood speaketh. After we finish the glory, we are going to the blood speaketh. And the blood of God, the blood of Jesus Christ, speaks in every area of our life. I say unto you, fear not. God knows you by your name. He said unto Moses, I know you had an if. I know you had some doubts. I know you are wondering if you'll ever get there. Fear not. I know you by name. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. I know some of you are watching and you have headphones on your ears because you can't, uh, uh, you've got to be listening. Maybe even in a matatu and it's noisy. Maybe in the midst of a public place and it's noisy and you're just enjoying the message yourself. But if you are watching somewhere on a, on, a, on a screen or somewhere with other people, I would say give somebody a high five and tell that person, God knows your name. But I want to convince you, brothers and sisters, God knows you by your name. Now, verse 18 and 19, the best. I, lo I love these two scriptures. Wow. The Bible says, and he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. And he said, I beseech thee. Show me thy glory. Hey, let's, let's pause there for a moment. Moses, what are you saying? God said, I've given you my grace, a symbol of salvation. God says, you have my presence. Keep on going. You'll get to where you're going to the promised land. A symbol of the Holy Spirit leading us to where we are going. Moses, I've already told you, stop doubts. You are already going. You are receiving what you're supposed to receive. You are getting to where you're supposed to get. Moses, I've told you I know your name. Wow, hallelujah. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to say this to you. When God says to you, I know your name, you have no reason to doubt him. When you ask him now, show me your glory, you are not doubting. You are simply saying, like I normally teach in the church, God, I was with you here. And now I know you've shifted. You've gone here. I don't want to stay here alone. I want you to bring me where you are. Hey, show me your glory. Show me your glory. This journey, I'm not going alone. Show me your glory. And God says unto, Moses says unto God, thank you for the grace. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Grace is a symbol of salvation. The presence of God is a symbol of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for what you are doing in my life. Thank you for assuring me and telling me not to doubt, not to be put in if, if, if in my prayers. Thank you for saying unto me, you know me by my name. Now, God, I want to see you in reality. Show me your glory. Brothers and sisters, now I'll tell you my story. One day, I was very poor, literally miserable. I couldn't feed my children, I couldn't educate my children, I couldn't clothe my children, live alone myself, and we were in a miserable state. So by God's grace, we got saved. We loved the Lord and we pursued God's things with the whole of our hearts as a family. Got Holy Ghost filled, and that means we had the grace, we had the presence, we had the salvation, we had the Holy Ghost. But a time and an hour came. When I started desiring more and I started praying like Moses, show me thy glory. I started praying, Lord, show me thy glory. And you know what? God is so faithful. He showed me his glory. Let me summarize it for you this way. When you see God's glory in your life, when God's glory comes upon your life, trust me, that disease will disappear. That sickness will go. When God's glory comes upon your life, that problem in your marriage will go. 
when God's glory comes upon your life, believe you me, poverty will go. When God's glory comes upon your life, whatsoever was wrong with your life, God will fix it. Now, do not settle just for salvation. After salvation, say thank you, Lord. Do not settle just being filled of the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues. After being filled of the Holy Ghost, say thank you, Lord. I want more. And now seek God for his glory. That's the purpose of this program. To take you beyond the limits. To take you beyond the wilderness. To take you beyond your shortcomings. To take you beyond where you found stagnancy and now you are stuck. I know I'm talking to people who used to prosper at one time, but now it's like they have hit the bottom and they are not going beyond that. I know I'm talking to people that have come to a place where they are not enlarging anymore. I know I'm talking to people and, uh, you know, I, I, I look young, but I'm not that young. I'm talking to people who probably feel that they are too old and they haven't achieved much. I need you to pray this prayer with me today. Wherever you are in this world, Rosina, wherever you are, I need you to pray this prayer with me today. God, show me your glory. Yes, I can see all of you, Moses, online. I say, pray and ask the Lord, show me your glory. And you will see what God will do in your life. Just say, I can see you. Thank you. Brahmi, I can see you. Shiko, thank you. God bless you. Can see you, Beth, Nduku. God bless you mightily. Pray this prayer. Liberty, I can see you. Anjiko, I can see you, everybody. I mean, you are so many. I can't mention everyone. But I want to say to all of you, and, I, and as I continue preaching, share. Thank you for all those emojis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Share with someone. Let somebody enjoy God's glory. Why should somebody just die when you're watching? When you can help them? Why should somebody just close the shop because there is no more business when you can help them? Why should somebody just suffer when you can help them? Share this message with someone. We are going to cry out to God tonight like Moses. He said, show me your glory. And those who know me, you know me, I don't joke with prayers. I don't play. I pray. And when I pray, heavens answers and today heavens will answer not just for me but also for you now let's continue and see how did God show Moses his glory you know sometimes when we are asking for God's glory we think that something will come Pshu! some key light Pshu! no that is no light that is coming it is God who is going to touch your life minister to you and remove those burdens, destroy those yokes, and bless your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Julia Duncan, I see you. Kelly Steve, thank you. God bless you. Jeshu Ran, wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Jeshu Ran. God bless you. God bless you, all of you. Mwangi Maria, God bless you mightily. God bless you mightily. Now let us go to verse 19. The gist of this message, verse 19. This is the gist of it. Verse 19 God answers and says unto Moses, And he said, I will make all my goodness to pass before thee. Top on the list, number one, God says, I will make my goodness to pass before thee. Number two, God says, I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. Number three, God says, I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. Rakaba so kanta ya boyanta. Hey, number one, I will show you all my goodness. Excuse me. I will make sure that my goodness passes unto you. I will make sure that as I visit others, I will not bypass you. My goodness will be manifested upon your life. My brothers, my sisters, I know you know English, but I need to involve you here. I want us to ask ourselves, when God says, my goodness, when so God says to you, Rosina, when God says to you, Mike, when God says to you, Liberty, when God says to all of you that are listening to this service, when God says to you, I will show you my goodness, exactly what does he mean? Number one, healing is goodness. Tick. Number two, financial breakthrough is goodness. Tick. Number three, 
when God heals your marriage, restores your marriage, drives out all those devils out of your marriage, and establishes your marriage, it's goodness. Tick. When God comes through for you, and you are jobless, and he opens a door for you, and gives you a job, it is goodness. When God comes through for you, and gives you a business breakthrough, it is goodness. When you are there, thinking that you've hit the limit, and you cannot grow beyond that, and God comes through for you, and breaks through for you, and you begin to grow again, and you begin to increase again, that is goodness. So today, in the name of Jesus, before we go to number two, least I run short of time, Evans and Ashley, bless you Dr. Evans, bless you Reverend Ashley, before I run short of time, before I, uh, they start telling me my time is over, I need to pray for you that you experience the goodness of the Lord. Some people are in a place where they have hit the bottom, the bottom, the bottom. But God will raise you up today because his goodness will be revealed unto you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I know because one day I was there. Very poor, very miserable, myself and my children. But today, God has blessed our lives. Why? Because we received God's glory. So as we continue with this sermon, before I go beyond this, I want you to experience God's glory in your life. Let us pray. My Father and my God, there are so many people with us online. I pray in the name of Jesus that none of them will miss your visitation. I am asking you now for a divine visitation upon each and every one of them. I am asking in the name of Jesus that the cloud of darkness that have been hovering around your people be removed out of their lives in the name of Jesus. That every veil of darkness, that powers of witches and sorcerers, powers of diseases and infirmity, Powers of sicknesses be bound right now in the mighty name of Jesus and get out of God's people in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High God. I bind the spirit of stagnancy, the spirit of deaths, the spirit of poverty. I bind you today in the name of Jesus Christ and I command you to come out of God's people in Jesus' name. As we continue with that prayer, how bad things. I command Miss Jesus Christ in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And right now by the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray in the name of Jesus. Where we are free of God. Receive God's glory. Moses prayed and said, show me your glory. God says, this is my glory. You will receive all my goodness. To every man and every woman online, right now, receive in the name of Jesus, God's goodness, God's goodness, God's goodness overshadow you, overwhelm you, fill your life in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God's goodness, God's goodness, God's goodness, God's goodness fill your life to the glory and the honor of our Father in heaven. Hey, wonderful Lord. What do I do? There are so many people on the line. Somebody shout amen. If you missed the first session, welcome to the second session. Now we are moving to point number two. If you missed point number one, Moses prayed, show me your glory. And God revealed unto him. Hey, thank you, Tonya. Tonya, God bless you. Jennifer, wow, wow, wow. God bless you mightily. Thank you for logging in. Now listen to me. Receive ye God's goodness. God's goodness is God's glory. God's goodness is God's glory. I want to speak specifically unto somebody who is sick. Every person that is sick, I destroy the yoke of disease. I destroy the burden of infirmity out of your life in the name of Jesus. Roma Mama Masekenta. I can feel the glory of God all over my body, so I know it's happening upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet, every demon spirit that have been sitting on your body, sitting on your life, I command it right now to be bound and to come out of your body in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, receive your healing. 
Whatever disease was in your body, it is rendered powerless. It is null and vowed. It is bound and uprooted out of your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive healing from the top of your head to the sole of your feet by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Be thou made whole. Be thou made whole by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be thou made whole by the stripes of Jesus. Be thou made whole. Yes, Lord, I give you glory. I give you praise. Hypertension, I rebuke you. In Jesus' name, diabetes, I rebuke you. In Jesus' name, Rekama so Kantara Boyante ya Cancer, I rebuke you. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Rokobo Shekantaya Korabobo Sekenta. Somebody on the line right now, and you need healing over your abdomen. In the mighty name of Jesus, I can feel the power of God in my belly, and I know it's happening to somebody. Right now, you are being healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I give you glory. Adalitis, 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 Adalitis. Somebody is being healed of Adalitis in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God, I give you praise. I give you glory. Somebody is being healed of migraine in the mighty name of Jesus. That veil of darkness, goes out of your mind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive your peace of mind. Receive your healing. I thank you, my Father. Somebody has just been delivered from depression in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, your mind begins to stabilize right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I give you glory, Holy Ghost. Come on, people. Let's keep on praying. Tell the Lord, show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. Rekama so boyanda. And he said unto Moses, I will give you all my goodness. Healing is God's goodness. Prosperity is God's goodness. Let nobody lie to you. Refuse to be poor and you will be rich. The opposite of poor is rich. There are no shortcuts. There is no middle ground. It's either you are poor or rich. Nothing like in the middle. And I say unto you, may the Lord prosper you and bless you because of his glory. Keep on praying. Lord, show me your glory. Father, we speak into marriages. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we bind all the demons of divorce. We bind the spirits of separation. We bind the powers of darkness that have visited marriages. Hey, we bind pornography. That is destroying marriages. Right now, we bind the forces of hell, the forces of Babylon, homosexuality, destroying marriages. You are bound and cast out of those marriages in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We release unity of mind. We release unity of purpose. We release oneness of mind in those marriages. We release love. We release all the goodness of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Gladys Wanjiro, I see you. Anna, I can see you. Catherine, I can see you. All of you, I can see you. And those who are joining in right now, don't join in and just look at nice pictures and enjoy the jewelry and look at the girl and say, oh, Bishop is beautiful. I can see your comments. Yes, she's beautiful. But even beyond the beauty, there is the glory of God. Let us tap into this glory and let us have our breakthroughs today. Every businessman that is watching me today, I command those who are holding your business, those who are holding your blessing, those who are holding what belongs to you and what that should come to your hands, I command them to release it right now because you have received God's goodness. God's goodness is God's glory. Receive favor from people because God has already favored you. I command money, fresh money into your business. I command financial breakthrough. Oh, we started by people who are asking for financial breakthrough. Whoever has written today and asked for financial breakthrough in God's goodness. Receive financial breakthrough in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The devil is a liar. You are not going to drown in debts. I bind the spirit of debts and I command them to leave you now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive ye your financial breakthrough in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The glory is here. The glory is here. I don't know if I'll stop praying tonight. I tell you. That glory is here. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Now, point number two. God's goodness is point number one, and that's the revelation of God's glory. Point number two, the Bible says, God says, this is the way I will reveal my glory. I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. God says, Moses, wherever you go, I will proclaim 
my name. You know what? <laughs> in the country where I come from, my beautiful country called Kenya, when, when, when people hear, eh, somebody will take you to court, somebody is fighting you, they will sue you. You know, some of them are strong. They, they operate with the super, sup, su, su, uh, superstitious spirits. They will destroy you. People get frightened, people get scared. And you find land issues, land cases in court. Somebody just decides to steal your piece of land and tomorrow they keep you going round in the courts, the judiciary courts. Somebody decides to sue you for this and that and probably they are even on the wrong and they don't even want to reason out. Today, let me tell you, in every warfare, in every battle that you are going through and you are watching this service, you are watching this sermon, I say unto you, the name of the Lord, Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, the banner of our victory, Jehovah Ebenezer, let him thunder today. Let him thunder in your warfare. I don't know who is fighting you, but I speak unto you and say, whosoever has brought their battles to your doorstep, and you are listening to me today, and they have brought their battles to your doorstep, from this moment, God will proclaim his name on your behalf. God will proclaim his name on your behalf. God will proclaim his name Jehovah Sabbath, the captain of the host of heaven, the Lord God of the heavenly host. He will proclaim his name. Jehovah Tidiskenu in his righteousness, he will proclaim his name. Yes, I can see you, my friends, on Instagram. My only good problem, which is a good problem, Patrick and Faith Masharia and the rest of you, my good problem is that you are too many. I can see all of you. Thank you for those who are on Instagram. I just love you, love you, love you big. And those who, who have been sharing tweets, thank you so much. Now, for your personal battles, those who have decided to fight you in your office, those who have decided to fight your business, those who have decided to fight something that belongs to you, including your family, those who have decided to steal from you from this moment, I decree in the name of Jesus that the names of Jehovah will be proclaimed in that situation in Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray that our warfare will be overcome today in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name that you have promised that whatsoever warfare we go through, you will overcome on our behalf. You will prevail on our behalf. My Father, I pray this day in the name of Jesus. Thunder with a great thunder on behalf of my sisters and my brothers who are watching today. Thunder with a great thunder. Overthrow, overthrow, overthrow tables and let your glory be revealed. I declare Isaiah chapter 40 that the warfare of your people is accomplished and the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon their lives. My brothers, my sister, whatsoever situation you are in warfare, I decree today the glory of the Lord will be revealed and will be seen by all flesh in that situation in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And by the way, if you feel I preach for too long and you'd like me to stop, just Google there, right there, and say, Bishop, can we stop there? No, I'm not stopping there. One more point before I go off. Hey, Sally Akumu, bless you, darling. Bless you, bless you. Caroline Agola, hey, bless you. Brian Ocheng, bless you, all of you. Wonderful, wonderful children of God. Just love you big. Thank you, all of you, for being online today. I can see you all, even those who are on Instagram. Just bless you big. Let's move on with this gospel. It's the glory of God revealed upon us today in Jesus' name. And don't forget, we're going to be doing this every Tuesday. This is, uh, 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 I think uh, we are starting 6.30 East African time. And that is, uh, I think, approximately around 11.30 Eastern time in the U.S. And uh, whatever other country you are in, just Google and see what time it is. 6.30 East African time is when we are starting. And I know today we can stay a bit long, but we're not going to be staying this long every other day. But today, uh, Nancy Mashari, I see you. At your request, I will, I will finish this sermon. I, I know somebody wants to experience God's glory. God's glory changed my life. It's going to change somebody's life today. If they were planning to fire you, you lose your job. They can't. 
because you'll go to the office tomorrow covered in God's glory. And those who are watching us from America and Europe, it is still daytime. You will go back to work covered in God's glory. Those who are going home tomorrow morning as you go to work, you will go covered in God's glory. Lona, I have seen you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lona Kimani. I have seen you. God bless you. Thank you, Mashaz. Bless you mightily. Ha, look at this. The Bible says, number three, we have already dealt with number one. Kindly, please, let's justly reverse a little bit. Thank you, Lona, all the way from Germany. Wow, 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 princess. Thank you mightily. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Kelly. God bless you. Let's just go a little bit backwards to verse 18. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. Moses prays and says, show me thy glory. And we go to verse 19. God answers him, this is the way you will experience my glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. And then now he says, and I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. So we have dealt with part one, God's goodness. We have dealt with part two, he, God will proclaim his names in our warfare. And now part three, that God is going to be gracious to whom he chooses to be gracious to. God is going to show mercy to whom he chooses to show mercy to. Hey, hey. You know, if you have never sinned, hey, my daughter there, mwah, Purity Karaoke, I love you, baby girl. Nice to see you looking beautiful there. Thank you, Purity. God bless you and say hi to my grandchildren. Ramaso Kabashon Tayaya. By the way, I have seven grandchildren. Believe it or not, I have seven. I don't know those who are of my age. And you are with me online. How many you have? I have seven. Glory to the Father. God's goodness. Hey, God's goodness. It's my portion. Now, God says, point number three, I will show my grace to whoever I choose to show my grace. I will show mercy to whoever I choose to show mercy. Patricia, Patricia Hill, I see you. God bless you mightily. Now listen to me. If you have never done something wrong, where you realize, oh, my goodness, I blew it up. I just did the wrong thing. If you have never done a mistake in your life, that you could not get yourself I would call it a catch-22. You don't even know how to get out of that mess. I'm telling you, you may not understand what I'm preaching right now. But if you know that you have made many mistakes in your life, Tonya, God bless you. Jennifer, God bless you. If you know you have made many mistakes in your life, and even some of you as I preach today, you have just done something, it has landed you in trouble, you don't know how to come out of it, I invite you to this sermon. In God's glory, there is mercy. In God's glory, there is grace. God says, I will show grace. I will show mercy to whom I choose to show grace and to whom I choose to show mercy. He says, it's my choice. Summarize, I will forgive who I choose to forgive. I always say, favor isn't fair. I will favor whoever I choose to favor. You cannot tell God who to favor and who not to favor. And today, I invite every man and every woman who probably feels that the problem you're going through, you could have even personally made a mistake and contributed to it. I always tell people, you go over it, you find yourself sick. Probably you go to the office, get in the wrong company, do the wrong thing, and here you are now in trouble. Probably you just got in the gang and now you are almost going to jail. Probably you just got into peer pressure, even in our high schools, and you did something wrong. And now your entire destiny is almost being destroyed. My friends, today, if you cry for mercy, God will show you mercy. If you cry for mercy, God will show you mercy. If you cry for grace, God will be gracious unto you. And I'm asking every person, whether you are a believer or not, if you feel today that you need God's mercy in a particular situation, pray with me now. If you feel today that you need God's grace in a particular situation, grace means doing things that you could not do for yourself. Only God can do for you. Being delivered from situations that you could never deliver yourself. 
I have found myself sometimes in trouble and I could not get myself out. I just had to cry to God and God came, showed me mercy and he showed me grace. He will do it for you tonight. As we pray this prayer of mercy, as we pray this prayer of grace, I also want to invite those who are listening to this message and you are not born again. You don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Give your life to Jesus. Allow Jesus to save you. Allow Jesus to come into your life. And he will deliver you from all your crises and from all your mistakes and from all your errors. God will delete all your problems. And believe you me, when God deletes all your sins, he'll even forget that you ever committed them. Isn't he a good God? He's such a wonderful God. I haven't finished praying and I haven't finished preaching. But before I continue with the sermon, I want us to pray this prayer together. For those who are not born again, say after me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, today I repent all my sins and I ask you, Jesus, to forgive me, to cleanse me with your precious blood, to remove my names from the book of death and to write my names in the book of life. Jesus Christ, come into my life and save me. Now I want to pray for every person in Akach 22. That place, that situation, that only mercy and grace can deliver you. Let us pray together. Father, I thank you for your people. I thank you for your children. I thank you for each and every one of us. Sometimes we make mistakes in life. Actually, sometimes we just do blunders. And we find ourselves in trouble. And for every person hearing me today, I plead mercy. You said in the midst of your glory, you will show mercy. You will show grace. And you will choose whom to show mercy and grace. I pray that today you choose the listeners that are with me online. And that, Lord, you will deliver them. You will break the yoke that has come to destroy their destiny. You will release them from jail terms. You will release them from accusations. You will release them from evil, even if it were their own mistake, that you will show them mercy. I plead mercy. I plead mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy upon every man and upon every woman. Those who are sick by their own doing, Father, I plead mercy. Those who are broke by their own financial mismanagement, I plead mercy. Marriages breaking by their own carelessness, I plead mercy. Anything going wrong with our destinies by our own faults, I plead mercy. Let your grace prevail today in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For every person who is with me, over your names, over the affairs of your life, over your career, over your education, over everything and everyone called by your names, I declare mercy in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Now listen to me. By the time I finish preaching the last point, if you have prayed that prayer of salvation with us and you have repented your sins and you have come to Jesus Christ, Richard, I can see you. God bless you mightily. If you have prayed that prayer and you want to get to know how to grow in that grace, kindly please SMS us. The prayer number is on the screen. SMS us and just text or WhatsApp on 0728-222288. 0728-222288. If you are from outside the country, you will have to put plus 254-728-228. Double two, double two, double eight, plus two, five, four, seven, two, eight, double two, double two, double eight. And I believe the Lord will bless you mightily. Now I want to close. And before I close, I must now shift from Exodus 33 and take you to a scripture that I mentioned when we were simply praying. And let us all now go to Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 40. I mentioned when we were praying. But I want us to make sure that we read Isaiah chapter 40. Kindly please get there and God bless you. Uh, I know somebody told me the other day, Bishop, I'm listening to you on the phone and you're telling me to go to Isaiah 40 and uh, my, my, my Bible is on the 
on the phone. What do I do? <laughs> Isaiah chapter 40 verse 1, the Bible says, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, says your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her, that her warfare is accomplished. Hey, hallelujah. That her iniquity is pardoned. Hey, glory to God. For she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. And then we jump and go all the way to verse 5. Verse 5, no, sorry, sorry, we can't jump. Go back to verse 3. The voice of him that cried in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight the desert a highway for our God. Verse 4, every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight. And the rough places shall be made plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall sit together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Brothers and sisters, the end of the fellowship has come. Thank you for staying with me life. I declare your warfare is accomplished. The hills and the mountains that were withstanding you, they have been made low. The valleys, a straight highway for Jesus Christ has been made. Your iniquities have been pardoned and forgiven. You have received mercy and grace. For everything that you prayed for and every, for every prayer request that you said, God's goodness has been revealed. And therefore now, I decree, may the glory of the Most High God be revealed upon your life in a very, very special way that all flesh shall see it. All flesh shall see it upon your life. Come on, engage me now on 0728-222-88. No phone calls, only SMS and WhatsApp messages. I love you, and remember, the glory is here. Same time on FB, Instagram, all other uh, social media platforms. Let's do this again next week. God bless you and I love you. Amen.